All right, so if you are creating a cake business, whether it be from home in a commercial facility or you wanna create a cake business online for e-commerce, I'm gonna show you a cool website where you can actually create your own bakery logo. I've got my laptop open. So if you've ever had the question of how do I make a logo for my cake business, I'm gonna show you a really cool website where you can do it in about 30 seconds and get over 9,000 designs at your fingertips. And we're gonna dive into that website right now. Okay, so it's back, I'm back. It's Damian Roberti from Marketing Food Online. So as I mentioned in the introduction, I've got a really quick video here. I had a few questions from subscribers in regards to a, a video I did about bakeries and they wanted to know how can they can make their own logos. And pretty much if you're on a, on a budget, if you're just starting your own food business, of course everyone has a limited budget when they first get going. So I decided to show you guys, there is a website. I've done a couple of these different uh, videos based on different types of food businesses, but you can actually create your own on Brand Crowd. And by the way, I'll have a description, I have a link down in the description below this video. Check out Brand Crowd. I've actually created a couple of logos for my own business on there. And it's literally, and like I said in the introduction, you can take only about 30 seconds or so to create one of these, the faster you get used to it. And they literally give you like thousands of uh, different variations to choose from. And then you simply download it, you customize it, and then you purchase it. It's very simple. So I've got my website uh, website open here on my laptop. Um, so I went ahead, I went ahead and did a, just a generic name. And I just did like Connie's Cakes. If you know here, you basically type the name of your business in and then some keywords. Uh, you put cake or cakes, whatever you'd like to do. And basically hit search and give it a couple seconds and you are ready to go. Now, I'm gonna just scroll down. I'll show you some of these in a second, but let me show you this. So within a matter of seconds, you've got 9,600 logo designs already made that you can look at. Now, that's pretty amazing. Now, each and every single one of these, let me go back to the top, are actually customizable. Now, check out some of these the way they look just as they are. They're actually pretty cool, to be honest with you. Um, so you've got all of these different colors, variations of font styles, um, and of course, the slogan here, logo, you can customize that, and like I said, I'll show you that in a second. Um, so as we scroll down, we see a lot of really cool looking logos and it literally does this in a split second. So we're going to go ahead and choose one of these and we're going to customize it. Oh, this one's kind of cool. It's in the shape of a boat. And uh, let's go ahead and pick out one of these. All right, let's go with this one. So we want to pick this one. You click on it. It's going to take you to the editing screen where you can customize it. Okay. Now, remember, these logos you can use if you're going to create a bakery, you can put on the shirts, you can put on, some, on the hat for merch. When you download it and buy it, you actually get the different files that are needed to create all those different things, which is very cool. One of the reasons why I recommend Brand Crowd is because of that very point, you get the variety of actual file size. All right, let's take a look here what we got. So the cake itself, when you click on the image, you click on the actual font or any part of it, it's going to pop up. All the information about it will pop up on the right, okay? So you can literally take this cake. Now these are all the colors on the right that are associated with specifically the logo itself, okay? And again, you can customize them. Let's click on this. You can make that orange if you like. You can make it blue. I mean, again, you can do all these different colors, gradient colors and so on. And then simply click done. Now each of the colors that you click on it will allow you, like I said, to manipulate the color and change it, right? So you've got that, you've got white, you can even do blue if you want, okay? So once you customize that, you can literally also... All right, so now we're back into the text. All right, so you say basically you can customize this if you wanted to put, you know, Robert's Bakery, whatever it is that you choose to do. And that would be bakery, spell that right. All right, all right. And then you, again, you could pick the style. If you wanted to go with a, a richer font, a thicker font, whatever that may be, you can definitely choose that as well. Let me see, something a little more bold. There we go. And then you can also resize this. So these logos are, are very, very simple. These actual logos from brandcrowd.com make it very simple for you to basically spend a few minutes on this. You can create and move it around and you're done. It's not rocket science, guys, it's super simple. Um, if you guys also want on the bottom, you can change this up, you know, best bakery in LA. And then of course, again, below that, you can change the font for that. Now, a couple of tips really quick though. 
when you create this, you want to make sure the name of the actual bakery or the name of your business, whatever type of food business that is, you want to make sure that it's a little bit larger than your slogan or your little logo slogan on the bottom, okay? Your catchphrase, whatever it is that you want to call it. You don't want to overbear, over, oversize or overshadow your name of the actual business. So you want to make it a little bit smaller. I try to stay within the actual lines of the name of the bakery or the name of your business, okay? So you want to keep it a little bit smaller because that way it adds a little bit of fluidity and it looks more e equally labor, laid out and it's very, very simple. Now, once you're done with this, you can basically go on and you can download it. It'll take you to a screen where you can choose whatever you like from there. And like I said, the other different files that you're going to purchase with this really allow you to do a lot of different things in creating embroiders. You can do all kinds of stuff. Great for your website. You can even use it for social media and so on. And let me show you what I mean. So once you actually pick up whichever one that you want, you can go ahead and get these different vector files. That's what's very important. The vector files are important, okay, because they're going to be a variety and they're going to be able for you to use them in a multitude of different ways. So this is a very simple, fast way. You can create a bakery logo for your business super quick and easy. And check out the Brand Crowd link down below. It'll take you directly to this bakery page and you can actually go ahead and get started on yours and create one. And then I'll see you guys on our next video.